a clicker and pick up your liquor. It's time for Ed's Liquor! Starring me, Ed's Liquor, and my co-host, the Ed's Liquor, and featuring DJ Kate Stables. Tonight, Deer Factor Femme Vital, Cammy Sheffield takes us for a walk on the wild side. A uh, dog walk, that is. Plus, Tess and Molly eat up our hot I'm sure you saw the theme of the show is some kind of space futuristic video game thing, and you think our dancers were hot. Please welcome my co host, Leanna Kay. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, interesting, not so much just for your little twirl, mm -hmm. but for the fact that you leaned against the wall and broke the uh, illusion that it's actually a wall and not just plastic. <laughs> <laughs> People were still under that illusion? I don't know, but if they were, they're not anymore. <laughs> People would have been so busy looking at my ass jiggle and my boobs bounce. <laughs> you brought it up. Oh my god, have I become immune? You have. <laughs> you yeah, no, they, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. All right. so I'm in a little bit of a mood. I noticed. Yeah. I noticed. Well, You're not feeling the tit love today. Uh, no, I'm not going to not to feel tit love. Yeah. All right. A yeah, restraining okay. order. Let me ask you. Today is the day of the annual Toronto Marathon. The day when our city streets are filled with bright, shining men and women, straining their physical endurance to the limit to test the range of their strength and perseverance and challenge themselves to achieve their peak performance and satisfy their need to constantly strive to better themselves as they work towards achieving important personal goals. And I have a message to these men and women. Get the fuck off the street! Yeah. What the f are they doing on the road? Roads are for cars! Do I drive on the fucking sidewalk? The only place for pedestrians on the street is in the undercarriage of my car! <laughs> I f***ing close off the entire city so these f***ing health freaks are <laughs> fucking sweaty, basically doing the equivalent of masturbation and joy to Running, You can't f***ing drive anywhere! <laughs> emergency! People gonna die? So these f***ers in their little shorts riding up their ass? <laughs> I'm trying to get here to this to, to, to the building here to do the show, mm -hmm. and like you, you you you're driving. Okay, the streets cut off. You think I know another route? You go. You're driving down like side streets, and you think you know you see like it's open, and you finally make oh, <laughs> <laughs> steps in, points you the other way again, yeah. and you're back where you. You know, I felt like it was one of those those '80s movies with Chuck Norris and Delta Force. And they're yeah. trying to get me out of East Germany. <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't fucking get to this building. They really want to be on the street running. Fine. Be there with the cars, like the running of the bulls. <laughs> All right, I'm fully aware that some of these things are right. done for charity. Yeah. And you know what? F that too. <laughs> Bullshit excuse. They're doing it because they want it. They just know that without the charity, there's no way to guilt trip officials to closing off roads. <laughs> want to give to charity? Give to charity. True. Don't wait for some excuse or enticement. All of a sudden, they're big humanitarians when doing something for charity means doing something they want to do anyway. <laughs> it's like the people who bought you two albums and think they're contributing to fighting AIDS in Africa. <laughs> you know what this is? It's terrorism. <laughs> It's holding the city ransom. It's That's holding the sure. city hostage so these sweaty freaks can satisfy their jogging fetish. <laughs> I know they get a big high out of it, you know, running a marathon afterwards. They get a big high. You know what I get a big high from? Beating them with a f***ing club. <laughs> hey, so if any of you out there are like marathon runners or people who do those walks for charity and stuff, yeah. and you're pissed off, um, feel free to sit down and write me an email with your outrage. Ed at edthesock.com. And you know what? If you're writing a really long email, maybe somebody can come in and throw a cup of water on your face to refresh you while you're doing it. <laughs> yes, it you know what? Now I'm 
of like spent from being angry. I've got like an angry that's, hangover. That's I've got hangover. Oh. <laughs> hangover. I get hangover all the time. I I, I call it redhead trade. She's like, yeah. <laughs> that's just when she's I, having sex. <laughs> right, speaking of venting and hangover, uh -huh. we got someone else here who's pissed off. Oh? Yeah, it's a professor. Yeah, right, and apparently he's been the victim of a, a, a victim of a crime. Yeah. Oh. What happened? I live like five minutes away. Like to get a little exercise, ride the bike. Until, you know, one night I'm working late, I'm working with you. And I uh, come back, got my lock open. Where, uh, uh, my bike's gone. It's my dun, second. Dun, dun, right dun. <laughs> The fence is closed in. It's like people are parading bikes out of this parking lot. When's it gonna stop? <laughs> it's parading bikes. So yours is stolen and it's become yeah. a parade? My <laughs> wife. Come back and forth it's an epidemic. Yours? Six inches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so yeah, your yeah, bike was stolen yeah, is the short, the short of that? Wow. And the thing is, he, he seems calm now. Mm -hmm. He's been driving us fucking crazy. Every time he goes by a security person in the hallway, he goes, find my bike yet? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime they're like goofing off, it's like, yeah, nice. There's another bike gone. Yeah, yeah. Sally's Brothers doesn't do things Won't about you bikes. Please help. I've lost a bike. It's somewhere out there. And I've got to walk to work now. My legs hurt. Help me. Please? Thank you. <laughs> wow, he had music and everything wow. ready for Okay, so yeah. next week, I bet you there's a lot of bikes stolen on his parking lot. I'd like to do an email to everybody. I'll probably piss off a few people like security because I'm like, like Kolchak, Night Stalker, looking into this. They want to cover it up? Yeah. Because they know there's... Yeah, that's quite a beat you're walking. <laughs> the uh, stolen bicycle from the parking lot. What a stalker is, huh? <laughs> Tons of people have lost bikes. Very, very informative. All right, uh, now the, the outfits you guys are wearing, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, it's video game, is that the theme? It is video game. What I found interesting is uh, just before we started taping, yep. um, was it Jenica who had the, uh, the <laughs> space gun used in the photo no, session? No, it was Joanne. Joanne, and wasn't it Jenica who came up with the gun and said, here, Lillianna, you gotta try this. Press, yeah. press the gun to your uh, loins yeah. and then turned it on because apparently it vibrates. <laughs> it does, it jumps in your head. So, uh, so it's a multi-purpose gun. Uh, apparently, yeah. This is what our dancers do in the spare time. We give them props, and they try to use them as marital aids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you had something you were complaining about video games. Yeah, I, okay, I noticed this thing about video games. I always go for the, when I select my characters and know nothing about them, I always go for the sluttiest looking dominatrix chick in the game. Me well, too. like attracts yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I always find, even though they look really good, they're the shittiest character in the whole game. It's always, there's a, Soul Calibur 2 is an example, there's a character called Ivy, and I'm like, oh yeah, she's got this white, like, Aeon Flux style hair, and it's like this, this dominate, purple dominatrix suit that's like, soop, right down there, and she's got this sword that turns into a whip, and she's like, full on dominatrix. Stay down! And she's just the big heels in the whole thing. And she sucks. Her oh, I hope so. <laughs> you can't get anything out. Her moves are so complicated and they're so slow, you always get your ass kicked. And then this annoying little bitch anime character with these little swords. And they're like, that big and they're so cute. And she talks like this. And, and she's all, she kicks ass! And I don't know if. See, that's uh, art imitating life. Because often, the best looking women are the worst fks. And the quiet ones are the tigers. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's time to uh, open up the hot tub. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's uh, see who's in the hot tub today. Okay. Our, uh, our hot tub ladies from our uh, synchronized uh, hot tub team. We have Molly and Tess. Come on out, ladies. What the? Bazooka Jill. No, no, the Sky Captain. Hey, uh, Tess. Yes? I'm guessing from the patch that someone didn't warn you. <laughs> oh. oh, I think chicks with eye patches are sexy. Like, yeah, until they take it off and you look at their frickin' hole. <laughs> All right, and, uh... This is really weird. I have, like, weird vision. I can only... See, I can't see Molly. Yeah. It's like I'm by myself. And I'm like, whoa, hey! <laughs> well, you are blonde. You got the memory of a squirrel. <laughs> oh, be nice. I got some black in here. 
Yeah. I I'm got sure you've had some here. black in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you ready to meet the uh, person who's going to be in the tub with you? Yes. Yep. All right. He's uh, somebody we know around here. He's a friend of ours. He's a multi-talented. Uh, his name gives it all away. Jason Sensation. Jason. <laughs> Some outfit. This is from your uh, your wrestling days. Yeah, uh, I could, didn't really have a uh, bathing suit to wear, so I wore my old uh, wrestling tights. All right, now tell me a bit about your wrestling past. Well, see, I was in the WWE for years. Uh, I did impersonations of wrestlers. I dressed so up like wrestlers. So do the people who are in the WWE now. Uh, so, actually, yeah. So I was there, and I had a good friend of mine named Flesh who was along there with His me. His name was Flesh. That's right. And right. I promised Flesh that one day I'd get him into the WWE. And my plans fell short, and I didn't stay with the WWE, and that turned him against me. And that led into a little feud Flesh and I had on Speaker's Corner. So All right, well, we have a clip of you in Speaker's Corner. Okay. Why don't we take a look at that? Sure. And when I find my soulmate, I'm supposed to take this ring, I'm wearing it out, and turn it around and put it back on. And, uh... And that's supposed to let people know that I found my soulmate. I think I have a tear. Oh. Yeah, Hold you're on. looking for your soulmate. And well, I, the thing is, I found my soulmate on Speaker's Corner, and I was going to bring her on. And in the midst of this feud I was having with my friend Flesh in Speaker's Corner, I had taken his belt. It was really wrestling. It was really stupid. This guy actually took my soulmate on Speaker's Corner. Guessing she might not have been the soulmate then. Thank no, I'm telling you, this is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is the girl I love with all my heart. It's the only girl for me. But wait, where is she now? We're here for you now, but she ain't doing nothing. She ain't running. She sees you on television. Is she here? I'm sorry to break your heart, but wake up. She ain't coming back. Listen, you know, listen to Chickadee. No offense, chicken bum, okay? But this girl's the one for me. She's not not with me because of, because of something she did. She was taken out of my hands. She was kidnapped, ripped right out of my hands. She was taken away from me. I want her back. I've been begging for her. Flesh had me on TV dumping eggs on my head, pouring drinks on my head, Tell me he's going to give her back to me. But week in and week out, he's still got her, and I want her back. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Okay, come on. All right, well, uh, we'll be back to you later, Jason. Maybe we can help you out. All right? That goes to his pants, eh? How about a hand for, uh, for Jason? All right, well, you know, there was a little bit of uh, rain there. The girls experienced some unexpected showers. And uh, so did you in uh, this month's, uh, or this week's featured calendar clip. The right. April showers. Yes. Can we take a look at that sequence from the Anna's calendar? shot lingered as a target practice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, well, for those who want to see more of that, yes. head to sock.com, get the DVD on the calendar. I had, like, the perfect amount of cleavage showing before, and now I've wrecked it. Oh, well, we're going to go to a break and allow you to work out the quotient. Okay. All right? Yeah. Uh, we'll be back with more on Ed's Night Party after this. Stick around. <laughs> Signed Leanna Calendar, Ed Puppets, and other great crap. Visit EdTheSock.com.
Why would you stop the music? I was enjoying the show. There we go. A little sequence just accentuate all the movements. Yes, see every movement. Yeah. Um, so welcome back to the show. Yes. Uh, it's the uh, video game themed show. Yes, and I don't know if you noticed the glasses today. Yeah, you know what? I don't like that. We don't get to see your eyes. But these glasses are multifunctional. Oh? Not only are they sunglasses and protect my eyes from deadly rays, but they could be used for splash guards. Because nothing's getting through those things. Yeah. And with Jason's sensation in the tub today. Oh, that kind of splash guard. Well, that wasn't what I originally thought, but after his ah, temper tantrum. Yeah, but here's the thing. If you're doing the thing right that's going to lead to the splashing, yeah. those should fall right off. <laughs> Just the momentum. I don't know. Pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbacks? Uh, no. I was testing. That was just testing. It was purely scientific. Yeah. yeah. The professor uh, has recently been uh, immortalized in a hockey video game. Mm -hmm. And of course, his favorite video game that he spends hours playing, yes. he calls it the H bottle. Yeah, hitting the H bottle. Is uh, Halo. Yeah. Halo 2. Yeah. And uh, recently, the main character from Halo burst into the real world. Yes. And came down to spend an afternoon with the professor, right, James? Yeah, I blew into town and we hung up for a while. It's All cool. right, yeah. why don't we take a look at that? See how things are over there in the tub. Jason, you're still looking kind of sullen. There's two beautiful women there with you. Hey, I really appreciate everything you're trying to do for me, Ed, but I ain't gonna get any better until I find my soulmate. Well, here's the thing. You know, we like you and everything, but more importantly, we're tired of people coming to the tub and being a big downer because we're trying to have a f***ing party here. <laughs> so during the break, we uh, contacted your friend Flesh. Come on Where down, Flesh. Where is he? All right, Flesh has got the biggest bling I've ever seen. Where is she, man? Where's right. my soulmate? Where's Christine? You son of a bitch. Okay, this isn't going very well. We need you to help. You've been hiding. Okay, Jason, you've been we're hiding. trying to mediate here. Can we do? Can we try? Can everyone try to get along? Hey, you talk about having your soulmate when you got two bimbos here? Hey, hey, who are you calling bimbos? Hey. hey, what about your soulmate? Sit down, sweet tits. Take off your shirt, big boy. <laughs> Oh. your hole. Oh. Hey, listen, how's your whole family? Hey, can we try to resolve this, guys? This is not helping. You know, you're continuing. You know what? It's you want this resolved? Oh, for crying Christine, out loud. come down. Oh, your brother? Oh. I love you. Christine, I love you. Christine. There's Christine. Call the cops. 
Listen, the cops got nothing to do with this. You know what? You talk about being I retired you. from wrestling. You. How about this? You get out of retirement, whether it be right here at End of Sock, whether in the back of Speaker's Corner, I love you. in the back of City Post, I don't give a shit. It's just hey, news now. Keep your head. I want to wrestle you one more match, and I'm going to beat you down like the bitch you are. Okay, 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 okay. I'll fight you. All right, you all right. Okay. Now, what I think I saw there was a the beginning of a challenge match. I'll fight him. The, I'm so, retired from wrestling. I'm finished with wrestling, Ed. But if he wants this scrawny little wimp to come out of retirement so that jacked up freak can rip me apart, whatever it takes to get Christine back flesh, you want to fight me here? I don't care. I'll fight you anywhere. All right. You know what? We're gonna have this. Uh, we're gonna have this event at some point in the future. We will uh, televise it and we'll show the, the results here on the show, okay? Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed, for everything. Thank you. All right, well, thanks for that little bit of Shakespearean drama. We don't have time for our close encounter this week. Yeah, whatever, we'll run it next week. Let's just go to a break. Stick around. To get your hands on an exclusive signed Leanna calendar, Ed Puppets, and other great crap, visit EdTheSock.com. Practicing my video game check notes. Video game? Oh. All right, that's it then. Like I always say, rather be a smart ass than a dumb ass. If you have anything good to say, say it off and good night. Yeah.